Hey, how you doing? Working on Wraith Binder. Currently working on the menus. So I've got the menus all working now. All this stuff is pulled over from Songbringer, refactored for Wraith Binder. I got some of these things hooked up, like music volume, sound volume, stuff like this low HP beep. That's not hooked up. Nothing to hook that up to yet. Um. Some of this vi video stuff's hooked up too, and the input. I'm actually working on a new menu here in the input where I can actually bind each control individually. With Songbringer, I had like a little controller on the screen and you have to hold down each button every time you wanted to remap every, and like a single button, you have to remap the entire controller. It was kind of not the best system. This is kind of what the standard game will do here where you have a, you know, just a bunch of different um, buttons that you can remap and so each one of these you'll have like more than one key too so like this K key there will also be like a you can map that to uh, you know controller button one or you know there'll, there'll be a couple different fields and each one of these right now I just got one field but um so there's that and um, this even the achie achievements and stuff like that are hooked up but they're not at all implemented that's kind of like a whole nother thing to refactor is the uh, Steam integration, GOG integration, um, and all that. But the languages work. This is pretty cool. You can switch all the way into these um, even uh, even glyph-based languages like Chinese, Japanese. Japanese kind of looks cool. I love the Japanese language. I like this. It's really neat looking. Um, I even worked on making sure the fonts that are in the glyph languages now are about the same size as um see this here's these uh western languages right the the characters and the font are about the same size now as the japanese glyphs and the chinese glyphs so that's nice too to have a little more consistent and another goal of, of working on these menus for myself and also for integrating with my publisher when we go to put these on this on other platforms such as perhaps consoles um, the thing is that each console each different platform has its own sort of different um, requirements for what kind of menus it needs and sometimes a totally different integration for leaderboards and things like that so uh, what I wanted to do was make that easier for myself to manage and also easier for uh, my publisher, Double Eleven, to come in here when they if they need to do some work on a certain menu. I really would like that to be smoother and easier processes, as, as smooth and easy of a pop process as possible. Because that comes during the end of a video game when you're working on all that kind of stuff. You're trying to get everything ready. You're getting trying to go through approvals, and um, all of a sudden, oh, sh you got to work on menus like for weeks. And so that's my goal for this is to like have this since I've already been through that. I have the experience of. Of Songbringer um, being released and going through all that that uh, that work and that process of finishing a video game, I know how how important menus are and having a good structure for your menus is. So let's look at some of the code here um, in this structure of the menus. What I did to make it simpler was I abstracted away the menu versus menus. So there's a menu uh, structure. Um, which basically has a bunch of different menu choices in it. So each, um, for example, the let's go to this menu here. The very first one is the pause menu, and you've got the options continue, settings, and exit game, right? Continue settings, exit game, and then settings goes to a different menu where you've got video, audio, all that. Continue just exits the menu, and then exit game actually exits the game after an are you sure so in that first example there with the menu there's three different choices the continue the settings and um, the exit game and so basically it's just a menu structure with a bunch of different menu choices in it so hopefully that's simple enough and easy enough for uh, for this to be used by myself and also my publisher to make some simple menus and let's go into into the and this is where it actually does the menu so here's the pause menu um, it starts by f flushing the settings if anything has been changed by going to the settings and coming back to the pause menu. Uh, then it basically uh, this is the this is something extra for demo mo demo builds only. Haven't even refactored that yet. Uh, but then here's this is the, this is a pretty simple example here. There's the continue button, right? It just pushes a new choice 
into the menu. So the menu has a vector of choices and push choice basically creates a new choice and um, sets it up a little bit and then pushes it back. No, actually it doesn't. It doesn't even set it up, it just pushes it. Okay, and then pff, all we need to set up for this is just the text, right? Um, and then here's the settings button. This, the, the settings uh, label, you could call it. It's a little bit different because it has its own on forward method and then the on forward actually calls a different menu, menu settings, and that's how that works. And this is also, the exit is also a different menu. It goes into the exit confirm menu, which is just a simple menu with just this are you sure label and a no and a yes. So hopefully, hopefully having this structure for menus makes it easier for myself when I get when it gets to the end of this video game because everything will kind of already have its place and you can kind of neatly go in here and add different menus and use different menus on different platforms too like if you want to be on uh, if I wanted to do a special menu for PlayStation 4 only I could do if PS4 and we would have that menu only for on PS4 and uh, we would want to do that here and list it inside menus the same way right list this menu function as if platform ps4 so uh yeah if i if, you, if you're watching this video and you can think of a way to make this even simpler i would love to get some thoughts on this shoot maybe i should even do a live a live stream on this one because i mean this is pretty simple though isn't it i don't know Anyways, anything to make my life easier during the end of a video game, I'm going to do it. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you next time.